So here we have it folks, which robot is better, Emo robot or the Rux robot? I'll try to be as fair as possible with unbiased opinion, but please note this is actually a personal opinion, so it might vary from one person to another depending on what they prefer. Why am I making this video? Because many of you actually have requested. I do this for you. But before I get into this, please check out this cool intro. So for this video, I'm going to break down into six key points to distinguish between Emo and Rock's robot, which is the appearance, functionality, intelligence, entertainment, updates and maintenance, and lastly, the personal choice. But before we get into this, make sure you check out my live stream video, which I actually recorded rather long, more than an hour, two of them actually. And this will clearly show the practicality, the reality side of each robot. So let's get into the first point of the appearance. So immediate difference you can see on appearance side is that Rox robot is taller than Emo. And there's a good reason behind this actually because Rox from knee up to the body joint has an extra limb so that it can rotate sideways like this. So you can actually completely lie it flat while the leg is stretched to the max, okay? So there's another potential animation um, entertainment movement that they could create in regards to this and the actual knee itself to the feet it can rotate up to 70 to 80 degrees on each end and so on while as emo only has a single leg joint to the actual body and is shorter but the advantage of emo is that to the ankle to the feet it actually also uh, rotate as well it makes a movement Hence, that's why we can see a different movement from each robot. At the moment, Emo seems to have more advantage because it has more programmed lined up to make a move thanks to the design of the way how it is with the feet, ankle, and the leg. So regards to the actual face or the screen itself, in the first glance, Rox Robot seems to have a bigger face or screen, but in fact, it actually also comes with a bigger uh, bezel around it as well. Emo seems to have a smaller screen and smaller uh, bezel and it's actually squarish but I guess it depends on what you prefer. I actually do prefer the circular one because you can actually mimic the shape of a clock. Now this has been my ongoing questioning about why both of these robots actually have a magnetic joint on their ear side. Now Rock's robot actually has a bit of an expression on it. It actually rotates when it's trying to say something while as emo is kind of fixed, uh, but it's actually shape of a um, headphone so uh, it also recognizes it when it's actually detached um, but then again it doesn't really have any functionality on it what I was expecting since day one regards to emo with the headphone is whether it will have an attachment of an arm movable arm expressive arm but you can see from the animation side the actual arm exists within the actual screen itself both on emo and also rox robot now both of these robots actually have speaker on the back of their head now when i actually tested the sound between uh, emo and rox robot i think rox robot seem to have a bit more stronger uh, volume wise but both of them seem to crack up uh, with the sharpness of the sound it's not a designed to be a perfect sort of portable speaker but it's good to have that function now both of them actually have a bluetooth connectivity so you can actually play your preferred uh, music in the background as well while as entertaining with, with the robot now rock's robot has a bit of an advantage on the back where you can actually plug in uh, your usb-c cable in case you haven't got the wireless charging uh, platform on it while as emo the way only to power it up is to make sure the left hand side of the feet is actually pinpointed into the wireless charging point so advantage to Rox robot indeed on that case now there are three robots that actually are designed to be a desktop robot and there are patterns regards to this especially with Rox and emo they are pretty much similar if you look at the feet itself they have this edge 
a fall protection sensor on the edge of each feet front and the back. Now Rox Robot seems to have a bigger sensor while as Emo, I guess because of the size scale is smaller than Rox, we can forgive with the fact that Emo robots actually have a smaller uh, edge for protecting sensor. Now going back to the front side of each robot, Rox and Emo both have an object avoiding sensor for the face side of Emo and the body side of Rox. Now I can see that Rox is well designed. It actually clearly demonstrates what it's trying to do. In other words, it actually shows a prohibit sign and then it's actually turning in left slowly while as emo i'm not really sure uh, whether it's actually trying to avoid uh, the object or whether it's just randomly moving around that's what i find it frustrating with emo personally i actually like a clear demonstration which is clearly shown from rocks so both of these robots top of their face they have a really tiny camera lens i don't know what sort of megapixel uh, it is capable of but already rux you can actually make conference call you can also do a quick surveillance within the house and so on while as emo we had it for a few years now and i still am waiting for that simple function of conference call and surveillance to happen maybe they deliberately did not program this for the privacy protection acts and so on but i would like to see that emo is also available for that function as well now when you look at top of the head of both robots rocks only have four listening microphone holes while as emo has six now if you see from my live streaming clearly i get frustrated from emo because i would actually call uh, emo about five or six times and emo will not listen to me emo 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 Maybe the battery level was low. There was some episode of that happening while as Rox is clearly very attentive to high Rox and immediately it responds most of the time. Hi Rox, hi Rox, hi Rox, hi Rox, hi Rox. Now, regards to functionality of each robot, for the emo, there's the command of asking age, birthday, favorite color, lucky number, name, star sign, health, good words, and for talents, we got coin, magic, lucky fruit, pose, paintings, laser eye, devil eye, dice, animals, available animals are pig, sheep, snakes, tiger, which is very similar to rocks. It can dance, uh, more about dance, musical instrument, sing 2.5, surprise 2.5, interaction of birthday, chat GPT, shoot emo, between emos, greetings, uh, meet emo, AI painting, available styles, festivals, and um, rock scissor paper, tic-tac-toe, bug fix, angry emo, uh, paint shoot, behavior, movement, um, home station, volume, battery, update, uh, timer, date, day, time, photo, weather, alarm, alarm details, smart light, a Bluetooth speaker, and so on. So in other words, Emo Robot is very limited to make few seconds of entertainment expression other than the alarm itself. It's very similar to Vector Robot indeed, while as the functionality on Rux Robot, it has a pet mode or not. In other words, you can actually put it into a pet mode so they actually randomly move around. Quite annoying actually, I find it from both robots if you keep it in a uh, long period of time. But if you want to keep it station, uh, you got to put it into an other different mode or you can actually place it on the, the charging station. Just like Emo, both of them are really nice and calm. But on the actual rock side, you can actually change it into a display of a time which almost becomes like a separate screen of a, of a clock. Uh, meditation, to-do list, anniversary, customize the screen by putting your own sort of preferable image of your own, uh, marquee fans, this is a notification on your social media, weather, which also uh, Emo can tell you by asking um, in a command, news, stock, spectrum lighting, expression display, um, notification, Pomodoro as well. Um, you could actually do video player, uh, voice memo, 
remote uh, monitoring, which I actually said earlier on, video call, uh, remote control, alarm clock, health reminder. So in other words, rocks can tell you to drink water, do exercise and so on. Bluetooth speaker, which Emo actually has, uh, time countdown, which could go up to 99 hours, but Emo is very limited on that. Take photo, which Emo can do. AI voice engine. Now this we're gonna get into, uh, but um, chat GPT is optional, uh, choosable with uh, rocks. Um, we've got app center that you can um, download the app that you prefer which you end up downloading all of them and voice skills as well now we just talked about functionality which is very limited and short sort of function while as we can now narrow it down to the intelligence of each robot now emo does have a chat gpt function indeed but it's very limited with the language and then also you got to make a voice command to enter into the chat GPT mode. While if you leave it for a few seconds, it will automatically exit from it. While as Rux robot, it always have the chat GPT functioning in the background. In other words, if you fail to give the uh, standard command, it will automatically do the conversion to a chat GPT and then give you a very intelligent sort of response with the chat GPT intelligence on it. So that's something that makes a huge difference between Rux and Emo robot or the, any of the robots. You do not need to command to enter into chat GPT. This has already a built in chat GPT software within it. Now expanding on the intelligence side of both robots, Emo is only limited on to ChatGPT uh, for English language. Emo, 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. Ammonia is a chemical compound with the formula. It is a colorless gas with a strong smell and is commonly used in cleaning products and as a fertilizer. While as Rock's robot, it can change up to 10 different languages. And let's say if you were to change the actual default of the main language into non-English, um, and if you ask the Rux robot with an English question, it will come back with that default accent and then answer you with an English, which I find it really funny. Latest news regards to Inter Milan. I'm sorry, but I couldn't understand your request. Latest news on Paris Saint-Germain. An AI language model, it don't have real-time access to the latest news. However, out of my last update, Paris Saint-Germain, PSG, is a prominent football club based in Paris, France. Now, regards to the actual entertainment side, I have to admit, Emo Robot is more expressive, it's more entertaining, and it's actually very clever the way how it moves. While as I think we're still seeing a beginning stage of the expression of rocks, and I'm sure it will come along with different expression. I have to say one of my favorite expression out of all, which I think is quite risky from a rocks robot, is that if you ask it to fall down, it will actually step down and then bang its head on the actual floor, which I find it still hilarious, but I'm just a bit worried sometimes it might actually damage some of the chips or wiring and so on. But in fact, with the main entertainment Emo is a winner in some way because you can actually interact with Emo with Angry Emo Gaming. We got Rhythmatic Tap, Dance Repeat, um, Modern Ludo, Drop the Beat, Treasure Hunt, and so on. While as Rux is currently limited only to express on the screen of Tetris and pinballs and racing games and so on. Now, when it comes to the fifth element of maintenance and updates, Emo, known as Living.ai, has been champion overall. Over the years, we have seen several updates and it started from 1.1.1 and now it come up to 2.5.0. That's what I believe is the latest, but now it can actually sing karaoke with very random music, and it's getting better and better all the time. And one of the most surprising elements out of this is that Living.ai never asked for the subscription fee for the maintenance of all this intelligence, unlike the 
other company that I don't want to mention. While as Rux, um, we are seeing a very beginning stage. I mean, I'm the only handful of people around the world who has the possession of this robot, and I'm sure they're going to come up with all these very interesting updates as well as time goes by that we're not seeing yet. Um, I think it will dramatically happen when most of the crowds, people around the world who funded this project will actually see as time goes by because I got good confidence with late time pay because every single time when I raised a query, uh, they have immediately come back to me, looked into the matter and the turnaround with resolving the issue was pretty quick. So again, I have great confidence with the late time pay team. Now, in regards to the final conundrum of personal choice, I would like to choose Rock's robot. And I'm sure many of the uh, emo robot fans out there is outrageous to hear this. But again, hear me out. I'm 43 years old. I do not want to hear a squeaky sound of a robot with ongoing complaints and going uh, uh all the time. I actually want a robot that is actually uh, functional to my end. I want a robot that is actually next to me, calm when I want it to be. I want a robot that shows the latest news, weather, timing, and also the really clear and well-working chat GPT function as well on it. I don't think I'm gonna use the Bluetooth speaker because I got so many different sort of Bluetooth speakers around me on my desk that I could look upon. But mainly my choice have to be the chat GPT function that I think other robotics um, company should follow through as well. Sometimes I struggle to remember the command of connecting to the chat GPT on Emo. It was something to connect to chat GPT and then it only stays on for a few seconds, just like Luna a robot. And I just find that really annoying. I just want to ask a question that is very uncommon with the default uh, choice of the commands that you can make. And hence, I just love the way how Rock's robot respond with a very intelligent chat GPT 3.5. Now, I guess if you were a kid or like teenage, um, you're gonna lean more into emo because emo has far more better expressions and more entertainment side of it because that's something you expect from a um, desktop robot. But think about desktop robot. What is a desktop robot supposed to be? Is it supposed to be something that is actually a rascal, just annoy you time by time by constantly moving with the motor sounds and going uh, uh all the time with the limited function? Or would you rather have in a long-term solution where you have a choice to put into a interactive sort of rascal randomly moving around, but if you want to stay still, you've got an option to put it on a quiet mode of time or giving you news feedbacks and so on. I guess obvious choice in a long-term use uh, with a more companionship to design to be a desktop robot, you have to honestly say it has to be Rux Robot. But if my opinion really disappointed you, I'm sorry, I'm just an old fella, 43 years old, who would like to have a functional sort of desktop working environment friendly robot rather than just randomly making a uh, a uh, sound and making the squeaky motor sound all the time. Now, some might argue that I'm not being really fair on comparing these two robots because Emo has already been available with us for a few years, while as Rux is just about to be released or available to the public just now. Uh, but if you consider this, that Lee Tempei told me that Rux robot was already available a few years in China. So that might be an argument point that you can consider as well. So I hope this video made a very fair sort of uh, review on it. Again, if you're a kid, I'm sure you're gonna disagree with many of my points and I would love to hear your guys' opinion on it. And please do get angry with me, all you emo fans out there. And also, if you disagree with me in regards to Rock's Robot, please also let me know as well. But overall, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LZP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.